So back at IO 2021 in May, Google announced a total overhaul of its wearable platform, but many questions remain about Wear OS 3, and Google has now addressed the update situation for current watch owners, but we're here to simplify and make things easier for you to understand. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. For starters, Google is now officially referring to the unified platform as Wear OS 3. Since its announcement, there has been a great deal of confusion on whether this upcoming wearable operating system would run on existing smartwatches. And it was partly sowed by customer agents giving contradictory statements and two big watchmakers eventually putting out their own statements in June about upgrade plans not being finalized just yet. Google has finally cleared up some of the uncertainty and definitively announced that unfortunately, only a few devices already on sale today will get the Wear OS 3 update. Disappointingly, those watches will only include the Mobvoi TicWatch Pro 3 GPS, the TicWatch Pro 3 Cellular or LTE, and the recently released TicWatch E3. As it stands, no other watches will be getting the Wear OS 3 update for better or worse. Although by no means softening this blow, Google also revealed that there will be new watches launching soon from Fossil Group and Mobvoi that will not run Wear OS 3 out of the box, but will get the option to update at a later day. In the case of Fossil, a statement from the firm confirmed again that a new generation of devices are set to arrive this year. Back to the devices set to get updated though, and all of the TicWatch models slated to receive the update all utilize the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 chipset, which was announced last June, thus providing some insight into what the bare minimum hardware requirements are needed to run this Wear OS 3 build. However, Google has warned that watches not natively running Wear OS 3, i.e. those upgraded after launch, will see unspecified impacts on the user experience in some limited cases. The company was not exactly specific on whether this refers to some new features not being available or performance constraints. The implication is that even devices running a chip from last year are not able to run this unified platform optimally given how significant the coming Wear OS upgrade is, but Google still wants to provide any recent buyers an upgrade path. For this reason, the Wear OS 3 update will be completely optional and made available on an opt-in basis for individual owners of Tip, Watch and Fossil Group products. End users that do decide to upgrade will have to factory reset the device during the process and start completely afresh. Google promises to provide more details in advance of the update so you can make an informed decision though. As for a timeline, partners will not begin the Wear OS 3 upgrade until the mid to second half of 2022, so there is a little while longer for you to decide. Luckily, Wear OS 2.0 users that decide not to upgrade will still continue to get new app experiences on par with the likes of Gboard and the material you placed or redesign, as well as security updates for a minimum of two years from the device launch, so it's not all completely terrible news. This does, however, mean that even contemplating the purchase of a new Wear OS watch right now is not something that we'd actively suggest doing. With new hardware catering specifically for the Wear OS 3.0 update arriving likely in late 2021 and early 2022 and then beyond, it's worthwhile holding out a little longer before making a decision. Hopefully this super quick explainer of the Wear OS 3 update situation does help you. It's very easy to understand why many of you out there would be aggrieved at this news but we do hope this has answered at least some of your burning questions. And if you have any more or just want to vent, then by all means, slap them down in the comments section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.